Boy, there sure are a lot of cool movies coming out in 2017. Kind of makes you just want this year to be over because all we have left to look forward to is a movie that stars Mads Mikkelsen as the villain, which is getting tons of reshoots to make it less dark. Or wait, there's also that movie that stars Mads Mikkelsen as a villain that's getting reshoots to make it less dark. We can watch that one too. But for the moment, a lot of cool stuff is in the process of filming, and it's always fun as a comic fan to go look at the leaked set photos and give your two cents on it. Because we're never way off base with the speculation. First on the list is something I'm sure you're all interested in, Spider-Man Winter Formal. I guess the implication here is that Spider-Man notices a random civilian helping the environment and also working to be more physically active. So in response, he throws him two stories into the air to break those well-toned legs of his, then absconds with an illegally procured bicycle while laughing maniacally about how he actually was the one who created Ultron. In earlier set photos, we can also see Tom Spider-Man hiding in an industrial pipe of some sort. This is clearly to conceal his horribly baggy mask that he made himself after losing the one Tony gave him. And if IMDB is to be believed, this fine chap here is actually Ned Leeds, aka the Hobgoblin. Well, the first Hobgoblin, before Jack-O-Lantern becomes the second Hobgoblin, who then is possessed by the Demogoblin. But this was all after the fake Hobgoblin with the deformed face. But that was before Flash Thompson, pictured here, was framed as the Hobgoblin because he was stooping Ned's wife. Except it was that famous fashion designer's evil twin brother all along! There's a fucking airplane passing, oh my god, it's pissing me off so much, I want to record and it's just all oh my... I can't wait for his subplot to be adapted as such. It'll make for a very interesting side villain alongside rumored antagonists like Shocker, Scorpion, Vulture, Norman Osborn, Miles Morales, and Avia Rad. Oh, and Zendaya might be Mary Jane. Do with that what you will. I don't fucking care, can we just dye her hair red? Yes? Please? Maybe? Next up, Thor Hard Rock Cafe. An adaptation of the famed comic story, Planet Hulk. Except Thor is there too, I guess. In this video, we see Mark Ruffalo wearing that super dangerous toy that every kid in 2003 used to punch their cousin in the nose. I am really upset that this scene leaked online because it basically spoils the entire plot of the movie. Not sure what point there is in even seeing it after the entire climax, Flash Thompson cameo, and twist ending were shown with the CGI stripped out. Oh, also Doctor Strange. Marvel really dropped the ball with this one. Someone should be fired. 12%. Oh, that reminds me, the Justice League movie is filming too. Ah, uh, here we go. This is what we really want. You see, the climax of this film takes place inside of a Hollywood costume department where Steppenwolf creates a portal to Apocalypse to bring Darkseid through, killing Zack Snyder with an Omega Beam, who happened to be shooting a movie in a soundstage next door. There's an entire subplot in the film about how Zack, portrayed by Flash Thompson, was afraid to shoot on locations because the media would get all kinds of set photos and footage of everyone to make funny videos over. So instead he opted to film the whole thing on a studio lot so there's nothing to analyze and make jokes about. 98% Guardians of the 80s Logo 2 Fucking nothing! Wait, I just got word. There's a photo of Zoe Saldana as Gamora being covered in ectoplasm due to this movie's connection with the supernatural elements of Doctor Strange. Yes, that's right. Doctor Strange confirmed to be a member of the Guardians of the Galaxy alongside Flash Thompson. And to close it all up, here we can see Benedict Cumberbatch and Unpronounceable walking around. But this later set photo depicts the two sorcerers walking around. And the most recent images and video confirm that there will be mild scenes of running and even jumping in the film. Fucking airplanes, they're doing it again. God, why do I record videos when it's the air show? Marvel's really outdoing themselves with this one. Looks like we have a full slate of interesting comic movies coming up, and I, for one, can't wait to see the Flash Thompson unfold over these next few months. Alright, I'll quit screwing around. Back to Arkham Knight. Also, holy shit, it's Deathstroke! 